this dish in, in my mind it's a very fresh very light dish uh, very summer dish kind of brings around the thought of alfresco dining that you could eat outside beetroot cure like a gravlax we'd usually leave this for up to three days in the fridge but you can eat it from after 24 beetroot is a root vegetable it's a very earthy flavor very very popular it's one of my most favorite vegetables one more go on the machine just to bring the lime juice through through the dressing and that's us now ready to prepare our salmon after about 15 to 16 hours, take the salmon out, toss the salmon around the dressing again and put it back down and put the dressing back over the top because it will float and pour off. The longer you leave the cure on, the darker the salmon will become, the more earthy flavour from the beetroot will move into the salmon, plus it can become slightly salty if you leave the cure on for longer than the three days. For this next part, I recommend wearing gloves. Beetroot is very, very hard to wash off your hands once it gets into the skin and it can get under your nails. So you're better off not touching it at all. Just get the gloves on, squeeze as much of it off here as possible. And what you'll actually feel here is the texture of the salmon has completely changed as well. It's now, it's now more, more tough, more hard, as all of the, the moisture would have been drawn out by the salt and the sugar. And what we do is we would just give it a little light wash with running water just to take off the excess amount of salt. You can see the, the colour change in the salmon and what we're hoping is that it's all the way through. Our next job is to take the skin off the salmon. What I like to do with the potatoes, personal preference of mine is to crush them. Okay, so we just take our fork with salt and pepper and we just, just crush the potatoes with the fork. Okay, and once you've got the potatoes all crushed, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's nice and rough so you get that little bit of texture in as well. You take some oil. We have the rosemary and thyme sprigs in the oil. So just put a little bit of olive oil in there. A lot healthier than the butter. It's all to do with healthy eating nowadays. And what you'd find is the olive oil will start to bring it together. So you want to chop up the rest of the chervil. What we do is we take a little dollop of the creme fraiche and we just stir that in. This can be refrigerated now and served cold, but I find if you serve it at a lukewarm temperature, just ambient room temperature, you get the full flavor from the herb, you get the full flavor from the, the creme fraiche and the potato itself. I'm gonna make it into a puree so that we can swipe it on our plate and give us the flavor and the color that we desire on the plate to finish it off simple little swipe take a little pastry cutter and we fill it up about halfway three quarters of the way up with the potato and then we just pull it off and that folks is what you're left with you see that the beetroot has come through along the bottom line it's filtered down through the top and all the way down through and you're left with the middle part of the fish still here it's entirely up to yourself what way you'd like to serve it. You can either cut this very, very thin and spread it out around the plate, but I like to keep it in one piece and serve it so that the customer can dice it up themselves and, and eat it or take a larger bite instead of it being thin. And now for the salad, it's just a little mix of different types of cress. And just add it onto the top of the salad. Perfect accompaniment. Nice, beautiful slice of our homemade Guinness brown bread. My most favourite Sauvignon Blanc is cake bread. Uh, it's so light, so fresh, long lasting on the palate, very citrusy flavours. You get a good, a big bang of pineapple there as well. So it's a very, very popular wine here as well with us. Uh, they both work very well together, the avocado and the lime with the freshness of the wine. You have the earthy feel from the beetroot going through the salmon, which it, it gives a very earthy feel. And also whenever you first taste and open a bottle of cake bread, cellar Sauvignon Blanc, you almost get that minerally flavour to the wine as well. So it so it kind of balances and works well with the wine. I can still smell the vineyard off that. Eli is now ten years old. 
Eric and Michelle Robson founded the business The Heart of Dublin. So that evolved into now three restaurants in Dublin. We show people how, how good wine was with food and to try and bring wine by the glass to Dublin. And we have 300 wines on our list, four different types of cake bread wine. We've also been awarded recently by Food and Wine magazine first for wine experience in Ireland. So I believe that food and wine matching in Dublin has become key to a restaurant's survival more than. Picking a beetroot, always pick one that's it's good and firm, that's not too soft, not too hard. Uh, the, the skin is completely intact all the way around so that you don't lose colour whenever you're cooking. So the best way to, to cook a beetroot is to boil it with the skin on. Then once it's cooked, you take it out, let it cool, and with a wet cloth or a pair of rubber gloves, just slide the skin off. And just treat it like a potato whenever you're finished with it. Whenever we pick off the herbs, instead of throwing the sprigs out, if you put them into a little bit of oil in a little jar in your dry store or your pantry or whatever, the flavour comes out from the sprig, goes into the oil and it also gives a great aroma. So we usually do this in, in the kitchen with most of the oils for the cooking and the dressings and different things. It adds a little different dimension to the food.